Jesse here. You know, if you've been following me for a while, that I've worked as a model for many years. Well, today I'm doing a very special kind of photo shoot, unlike any photo shoot I've ever done. I'm having tin types taken. Okay, if you've never heard of tin types, it's this super old timey photo technology that they did back in the 1850s. Uh, right after the daguerreotypes. Daguerreotypes were the first type of photos that were commonly used, but I guess they kind of improved on the process with tintypes, which the chemicals weren't as bad for you, and you were able to make negatives and create multiple prints. Anyway, it's basically a super old-time photo technology that when I was given the chance to do it, I jumped at it because I love all that old historical stuff and there's nothing I need more than a really cool tin type to be my new uh, Instagram profile photo or something like that. So I happen to have all these old-timey clothes which are just perfect for the shoot. This right here is actually my mom's wedding dress. Okay, my mom was uh, a hippie and had one of those hippie weddings. It's one of those old 70s gunny sacks dresses, but I thought it looked appropriately old-fashioned for a tin type. And then uh, another time, a one of the photographers that I shot with gave me this really old chemise that his wife made by hand because they uh, used to do mountain man uh, reenactments where they would wear uh, like all this period clothing. So the first picture I did was in this old-fashioned lingerie. Okay, here's the studio where we're shooting the tintypes. And the photographer is actually someone you might recognize. It's my friend Myron. You might remember him from our Mojave road trip. He's also a very accomplished photographer and he got into this whole <laughs> tin type thing. Yeah. What's the deal with it? Why are you into tin types? Man, it's just a little more fulfilling for me. Just got to do something different from shooting all those weddings. Keep me sane. <laughs> <laughs> so you have to put this like special hood on when you do the picture? Yeah, so this uh, dark cloth just kind of helps me see the ground glass. So this is a large format camera and I can just with the, uh, if there's bright ambient light around you, it just kind of helps your viewfinder. Oh, so it's not a fashion statement? <laughs> okay, I'm getting into position behind the camera here in my old fashioned outfit. And it's actually really interesting posing for these kinds of pictures because normally with my modeling, I'm used to smiling and being happy and flirty, but in these tin types, they were always very serious looking. And apparently I thought it was because, you know, photography was a big deal back then and it was expensive. And so people took it seriously. No, Myron just told me it's because the exposures were so long back then. Uh, you had to hold your pose for like 10, even 20 seconds that if you smile, it's really hard to hold a smile for 20 seconds. So it's a lot easier if you just have a serious expression. Right, Myron? Absolutely. Okay, Myron's loading up a plate and we're gonna get ready to shoot the next tintype. Oh, cool, now we're developing the picture. Look how cool this tin type is. This is how they did it back in the day. Like the guy would have like a little horse cart that was his dark room. And then he would pour these chemicals into a bucket basically, slosh it around on that little piece of tin. Oh cool, look at that there. It's like the old Polaroid of yeah. 1850 so coming out. We're making a negative here. And then you have to, like how do you make the positive? Yeah, so right after this, we'll uh, wash it and then we'll put it in the fixer and then you'll see the magic happen. Oh, cool. I already feel like I'm watching magic happen. I know, right? Okay, now you're rinsing off the chemicals? Yeah, so we're just gonna wash it for a minute. Rinse off these chemicals. Uh, this is stopping the development. Oh, okay. So it's like a stop bath? Yeah, exactly. How would they have done this back in the day? They just had like a bucket of clean water? Um, yeah. <laughs> God, things were so much harder back then. I mean, this was like a big deal though to get a tin type taken. You had to be kind of wealthy, didn't you, back then? Yeah, I would think so, definitely. All right, so let's take this to get fixed. Oh, far out, look, it's a negative me. <laughs> like let's my evil that, twin. Let's turn that negative into a positive. Yeah, that's what I always try to do. Oh, wow, that was like magic. Holy cow. 
What did you just pour on it? Uh, fixer. Wow, I need that in my life. I wish it was that easy to do my makeup in the morning. <laughs> okay, so I did the old time sexy pinup. Then I did the old time dress. Well, now I'm going for a third look. Calamity Jane. <laughs> I don't actually know if I look like Calamity Jane or maybe Woody from Toy Story. <laughs> Okay, right in the lens. One, two. Awesome. Perfect. Ah! I'm so excited to see that. All right, Myron's getting ready to do that magic process. He just went into the bathroom and made a negative of my <laughs> Calamity Jane slash Woody from Toy Story photo. Now we're going to pour that magic fluid on it and see what happens. Yeah. Oh, it looks pretty cool and negative. But it's going to be even cooler when he pours that other stuff on it. Wow, look at that. <laughs> Wow, I look like a train robber. Ah! <laughs> that is sick. Oh my God, that's gonna be my new uh, YouTube channel photo. <laughs> For real, that is a cool picture, Myron. Awesome, I'm so happy to hear that. Yay, Myron! Myron, <laughs> you're a genius. You're not only a legendary off-roader, you're also an amazing photographer. Who'd have thunk? That's good teamwork. Yeah, right, teamwork. So hey Myron, if people are interested in getting their own tintype, how would they go about contacting you? Yeah, you can reach me at uh, myronhensel.com. Myronhensel.com. I'll put that in the description to the video so you guys awesome. can hit them up if you want a tintype of your very own. Thank you. <laughs>